As you can see, I'm playing new Super Mario Bros. 2 on my Android using the Citra Enhanced Emulator. Well, that's not a big deal because on today's video, I'll be teaching you guys on how to play Nintendo 3DS games on your smartphone or Android phone using the Citra Enhanced Emulator. So, um, by the end of this video, you guys will be able to enjoy game. You guys will be able to enjoy games like Pokemon X and Y, New Super Mario Bros. 2, Mario Kart 7, Luigi's Mansions, and many more right on your smartphone. So let's dive in and get started. First of all, to play Nintendo 3DS games on your mobile device, you will need an emulator. Well, in simple terms, an emulator lets you play console games on your smartphone or PC. So for this tutorial, I'll be using the Citra Enhanced Emulator that got updates last two days ago. Let's head over to their GitHub page and download the emulator. Okay, so um, we are on their GitHub page and this is the latest version of their Citra Enhanced Emulator. So we will be download we will be downloading the Android version because this tutorial is based on the Android phone. So I recommend you to download the Android version. So let's download the Android on. I mean the emulator. Let's download the one that is for the Android. So let's download the Android one. Okay, so we are done with the download, and as you can see, that is the file over there. So we will need to extract it, and to do that press on it i mean tap on it and then select extract to archive name yeah select this one select the try to archive name for it to start extracting so after you are done extracting it head over to the extracted folder i mean this folder head over there and then here you can see the, this the emulator so tap on the emulator or press on the emulator and then select on install wait for it to be installed just select on the install yeah wait for it to be installed okay so after you are done with the installation just press open okay so at the welcome stage just press on get started okay here just press next press on the next and then here just press next now at this place it says select user folder so what you have to do is you press on that bluish icon over the select folder and then you you select your internal storage you select your internal storage as you can see that's my internal storage so, but if you can't see your internal storage just press on the three dots over here so mine has already been enabled that's why you can see the internal so so let me disable it and after disabling it you can't see my instant um, you can't see my internal storage over there so what you do is you press on the three dots over there and then you press on show internal storage show internal storage so the next is after after your internal storage has been shown just press on it here you have to create a new folder called 3ds and as you can see i already have the folder called 3ds so you have to create new folder called 3ds so let's create the folder and let's name it 3ds because you'll be using this folder for your 3ds games 
or for your 3ds emulators so after creating the folder just press ok as you can see i already have the 3ds folder so um inside the 3ds folder we we need to create additional folder another folder called citra enhance because this tutorial is based on citra enhance emulator so we will create a folder for that and after creating the folder just press on allow access to enhance folder just press on this one and then after that you press on allow just press ok over here and then you press on next it says complete so press on next now the game this thing means you have to set the game folder and the game folder means the folder that contains our 3ds games so locate the folder that contains your 3ds games or rom so in this case my folder or my games are located in the rom folder so i'll select the rom folder and then i'll press or select on allow access to rom okay so here you press on next and it says done just press on this continue over here okay so we are done with the installation now let me teach you some settings some small tweak settings in general head over to the settings and then head select graphics now select the graphics api change it to vulcan follow these settings please follow these settings just follow these settings the resolution if you have a powerful device i'll i'll suggest you choosing the three times or the four times native but i have a low spec device so i'll choose the three times native Disable VSync. Okay, so um, just enable that, and with this one, select on su surrounding, surround. Yeah, select on surround okay so we are done with the setup so let's try some games and see Thank <laughs> you. 
Chaco. Number one! 